It was somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They cut itself off at 20 minute blocks. Communion is a Christian tradition. Whether you're Christian or not, you're welcome to participate. We have unleavened bread if you like the tradition of that. Rice cakes if you're reading tolerant animal crackers if you'd like to honor Native American pathway, whatever works for you. Would you join us in prayer, please? Loving Spirit of Light, we thank you for those energy patterns, those emotional patterns that kept us alive so we could be to this moment. And we thank you for the opportunity for releasing them. Help us to remember to nurture the garden of love and release the tackweed. We ask this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. <coughs> That As that continues around, would you join us in perfectly? Loving Spirit of Light, as we drink this in, help us to drink in love and appreciation. Help us love and appreciate ourselves, love and appreciate our circumstances, love and appreciate one another. These things we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Help. Help. We have lots of uh, roof that is missing. Daryl's been trying to kind of get a time and a date to uh, do that. So anyone that would like to help, um, it would be nice if Daryl could get a little bit of help. Holding shingles or, you know, holding, or holding ladders and up on the roof. Anything you can do. Uh, and I guess whenever that happens, we'll try to have some we'll try to snacks. Have food. Food. We'll make food. Or food. Won't by be like we originally put the roof on, though. I still have to tell the story about your son. When we uh, put the, the roof on this, when we first moved into this building, and uh, I was down in the kitchen, and the gals were saying, well, what is that different sound up there? And I go, well, what do you mean? And they go, well, they heard the, the nail guns, and it was ka-chunk, 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 ka-chunk. And I said, yeah. And then they, and then they said, no, what's that? Ka-chunk, 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 that's Larry's son. <laughs> <laughs> We're all old guys up there trying to get something done, and he's just a young buck just having fun. There you go. So anyway, if we can get some help, it would be greatly appreciated. Have you seen the shingles that got all blown well, off? I guess there's a big check. Who needs that help? Are you, are you going to put tri fly down? Put that in the back now. Are you putting tri fly down or single? Just single. Well, it's the. Uh, yeah, it's architectural it's stuff. Yeah, yeah, architectural stuff. Yeah, it's not is it uh, 100 miles per hour or? It's sitting in the back there. Okay. If you go look. It's, 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 like it's, it's, like it's already bought. It's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to match what was there. <laughs> <laughs> it's already been yeah. Sandra? Oh, man. I don't know. It's so far. Anything come up for you? Any words come up for you when you see offering basket? Oh no, talk to me about that. <laughs> Tracy talked about words have meanings to each of us, and they're usually different. And many of us have come from backgrounds that offerings, supporting the church, giving money, whatever, 
tithing, have all kinds of definitions. This morning, we talked about last, the last time I talked about this, we talked about starting 2013, clean slate, different thinking. And Tracy was right on track this morning with what I was thinking. My thinking is off. So I need to change my thinking. My experience is all that I can give to you about abundance. Abundance cannot be learned. It's an experiential thing. I could stand up here and talk for three days. Wouldn't change the thing until you decide and I decide. I am entitled to abundance. I was created for a life of joy and happiness and abundance in wealth and whatever it is that I so desire, I'm getting. So what are you desiring? That's the question I have to ask myself. What am I desiring? What am I saying? What are my words telling God that I want or Buddha or spirit or whatever it is that guides you in your spiritual path? I learned a very strong lesson at one point that changed my mind. It was a scripture that really wasn't intended for offerings or tithing or anything. It came from Luke, and it was Luke 6.38. And in the King James, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye made out with all, it shall be measured to you again. And then I found this other really cool version called the message. It says, on the Amplified Bible, give and gifts will be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together. I, I saw this big basket of abundance, whatever it was. And it was full. And you know how you kind of shake things down when you're cooking sometimes to get more space in a, in a, in a container? Well, that's kind of what I thought. But it just kept coming and it was overflowing. And I like this part. Will they pour into your pouch formed by the bosom of your robe and used as a bag? Have you ever gone out picking cherries or something and you get too many and you pull your shirt out and <laughs> you start filling it up? Well, that's kind of what I thought there. I thought that was good. And for the measure you deal out, the measure you use when you confer benefits on others, it will be measured back to you. That spoke to me very, very strongly. I got it in that moment. And from that moment, I tithe. I tithe to people, places that feed me spiritually. My life has changed. And Wayne, if he were up here with me, he would tell you the same. We got the relief of, oh my God, I'm not in charge of my being my source anymore. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm here today just because of my experience to share that with you. And if it rings true for you and your spirit is calling you to do that, go for it. Because it makes a big difference in how you see and live in this world. A young man, a Native American, came to an elder with a question. And he said, I have two wolves inside of me. One is good and one is bad. Who's going to win? And the elder said, whoever you feed. So today, as these symbols come around, giving and receiving happen in the same moment. God doesn't need your money. Those Amen. little green pieces of paper and those little discs of silver, ugh, they don't mean anything. It's about connecting to our source and affirming that every time that we open up and are willing to experience and accept, not just give, but to accept the abundance that we have and that we're entitled to, that we have been promised, that is there. That's all it's about. Every time I give, 
I'm just saying, I got you. I got it. I'm, I'm not my source. I affirm it. I'm with you, God. So here's an offering. And I know that it will come back overflowing on that bushel basket more than I could possibly ever imagine because I have the proof. My life is that. So I thank you, Tracy, for being here and talking about words today. Blessings to each of you. We have a gratitude basket in the back. The gratitude basket is for giving gratitude to someone that has made a difference in your life. To Susan Husa. She guides me. I knew I saw you out there somewhere. <laughs> think they might want to be here for the dream boards? Somebody want to count for me? Who can count? I'm counting about 30 bucks. Just because you don't have your hand up doesn't mean you can't come and speak. Right. We just want to make sure if we need, if we need to buy more books for the book. <laughs> So I got oh, really? Oh, okay. Close. Awesome. <laughs> we'll, we'll buy more work at 30. So if you have a friend, I think I'd like to try to get my kids to come. It'd be awesome. So I'll buy more and we'll just have a wonderful time. If you want. Where if that is from one to four, <laughs> bring snacks, bring magazines. Anybody have glue? I got sticky glue. Yeah. I got glue. 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 Scissors. Bring scissors. Anybody have scissors? Ton of scissors. Oh, good. You got the glue. You got the glue. Okay. Awesome. That should be really fun. Are we going somewhere to eat? Are we going to go somewhere to eat at the church? Sounds good. Any suggestions? Something with breakfast. Where do we want to go? JD's. JD's again? Do we want to try JD's? No. Where do where you want to go? Where do you guys go? You like JD's? Somebody has to make a decision that's not going to be me. <laughs> How many people might be going to lunch? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe twelve. So we could call McGill's and have them set up a table. You want to go to McGill's? Do they do breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. The McGill's here in Richland, right? Yeah. Yes. Let's do McGill's. All right. Sounds good. Somebody need to call them and tell them we're coming.